You, do, you wake up and you do every single one of these things on the list. By the time you wake up the next morning, which is what I did, I literally was four pounds lighter. Literally. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Sianna Singh, and I'm going to tell you how I lost 30 pounds extremely quickly and started seeing results overnight. So stay tuned. You're going to want to listen to every single step, every single tip that I have for you. It's not a game. It's not a joke. I literally lost 30 pounds and never gained it back after eight years of losing that 30 pounds. No yo-yo dieting, no fad dieting. There's no pills that I took. There's nothing, okay? This is just pure, genuine, authentic, real life tips that I implemented into my life and I just kept up with it, right? So I never did any yo-yo dieting. It just became me. I became embodied, okay? I became aligned and embodied with every single tip that I'm about to tell you, so stay tuned. Okay, so number one, this is where I really feel like, especially today where Uber Uber eats, we have so much access to food. So the first one that I'm gonna tell you about is not eating when I'm not hungry. Okay, I don't eat when I'm not hungry. Okay, so if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to get those pounds off, if you're trying, there's so many opportunities to eat. We have Uber eats, we have, we have Postmates, we have 24 hour restaurants open all hours of the night. Obviously we have our nice full refrigerators full of whatever kind of food that we please to fill it up with, right? So I just made it a point. I, I woke up one day and I said, look, I am going to listen to my body. I'm gonna really feel into my body. And if I'm not hungry, I'm just not gonna eat. I don't care if I'm at lunch with coworkers. I don't care if I'm going to a birthday party. I don't care. I'm trying to lose this weight. And my body is telling me that it already has food on its body, on the body, right? Which is the fat that's on the body. So I just didn't eat when I wasn't hungry. So I highly suggest if you're trying to lose weight, if you want to see results very quickly, just don't eat when you are not hungry. There's a difference. There's a difference between a craving and then eating when you're actually hungry, okay? There's a difference between a craving and then eating when you're actually hungry, Okay, so some of us aren't even in touch with that feeling anymore. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but like when you're in elementary school and you're like super hungry and maybe you didn't eat breakfast for whatever reason, and then you had to wait all the way till lunch to eat, there, was, there wasn't really a lot of snacking, at least like back in my day, <laughs> it, we weren't allowed to snack um, all throughout the morning. So our stomach would be, everyone's stomach would literally be growling. That's what I'm talking about. Like let your body feel hungry for, so right when you start to feel hungry, just give it another 10 minutes. Like let your body start to tap into the fat storage. It's okay. It's been scientifically proven that it's okay to be a little bit hungry. You're not going to starve. You're not going to die from, you know, feeling hunger and then waiting an extra 10, 15 minutes to just really let your body feel ready to eat, right? So if you don't feel hungry, don't eat. Number two, I stopped eating super late at night. Okay, I woke up and I was like, I am not going to eat past six o'clock. So whatever that is for you, I'm more of an early bird, so I go to sleep super early. But if you're somebody that goes to sleep super late, just don't eat at least two to three hours before you go to sleep. Now, let's be honest, if you're going to an event or you're going to the club or you're going to a lounge or you're going to whatever and then you wanna eat after, I just didn't. Like, I was that serious about wanting to lose the 30 pounds. So I was like, you know what? If I go out and enjoy a night, a night out, I'm not gonna eat after I'm not gonna you know everyone from the lounge or from the club goes to you know this one spot that has 24-hour food I just didn't eat it it is what it is if you have your goals stick to them like don't play yourself just if you have a goal you have to do what you have to do so I just didn't eat super late at night so I didn't eat late at night and I didn't eat um two hours before I went to sleep so again life happens sometimes like you might end up being super tired or something and then falling asleep an hour before you know and you ate an hour before you went to sleep don't overthink it but that's what i did i just was like i'm gonna go to sleep early tonight so i'm gonna go to sleep at nine you know 9 30 10 o'clock so i'm gonna stop eating at six o'clock 6 30. that's what i did so it's almost like a form of intermittent fasting also too so if you don't eat an hour or two before you wake up and then don't eat um two to three hours before you go to sleep, there's your intermittent fasting right there. If you're like, I don't know how to intermittent fast. So that's like another way of doing it without overthinking it. Number three, I did apple cider vinegar. So look it up. I'm not gonna go into the scientific background. I'm not gonna pull up all these different studies and things like that. You can re reference um, Dr. Eric Berg here, right here on YouTube. You can also look up the 
glucose goddess on instagram i don't know if she has a youtube page but look her up on instagram she's amazing literally there is so many studies out there talking about what apple cider vinegar does to blood sugar okay so it's important to get your keep your blood sugar at bay keep it balanced a lot of times what we're doing is we're eating because we had a blood sugar spike and then it crashed and then really the brain's like okay your blood sugar is going down i need to eat of course if you have a, a special condition or you know that you are diagnosed with a specific insulin resistance or whatever do not take my advice but for the average person that doesn't have any types of conditions that they're aware of or anything like that you might want to look into apple cider vinegar it's been known to lower your blood sugar it's also been known to reduce your sugar cravings because it doesn't spike it, it reduces the blood sugar spiking so then you don't release a lot of insulin and therefore you're not feeling like you have to eat every 90 minutes okay so if you have to if you're feeling like you have to eat every 90 minutes you might want to really feel into your body and just really see is it because i'm actually hungry like is my stomach growling or is it because i'm craving something and if you're craving something think back like okay did i what did i just eat 90 minutes ago oh okay i did just eat waffles so all of a sudden you ate waffles at 9 9 a.m and then all of a sudden 10 30 11 a.m you're like i'm hungry again i want a snack that's a craving so i was able to identify those cravings and instantly was able to feel into my body by using apple cider vinegar so i would put a small tablespoon you don't have to even start with a tablespoon you could do a small teaspoon and put it in some warm water drink it on an empty stomach and then it typically has shown to reduce blood sugar over time there's many different studies out there where you do it in the morning and it reduces it or you have it drink some apple cider vinegar within 30 minutes of eating or drinking apple cider vinegar within 30 minutes of eating before you eat it or after you eat it. So it, it's up to you. Again, do your research, but that's what I did. I suggest you definitely implement the method of apple cider vinegar into your diet. Number four, it is what it is. I cut out sugar. I woke up one day and I immediately cut out sugar. It is what it is. You have to cut out sugar. Like there's no way of getting around it. So if you're somebody that's like, well, I love my sugary drinks. I love my pastries. I love my donuts. It is what it is. If you're trying to lose the weight, if you are serious, you have to get in front of your sugar cravings. Either if you know your personality, you could go cold turkey. Or if you're like, I need to wean myself off of it, that's fine too. But you need to do it, right? So there's tons of different methods to do it. You can drink a green juice. You can just elim um, immediately eliminate every all the junk food out of your cupboards you can make sure that you have you know more fruit in your in your reach there's ways to do it but if you are serious about losing 25 to 30 pounds you have to cut out sugar it is what it is so i'm not saying forever because i definitely will have my mother's freshly baked pastries or i will have my nephew's cake for his birthday right but having it every day consistently because it's like what you do on your lunch break or it's what how you reward yourself after a hard day of work though you have to get in front of that so if you know that you have a sugar craving and you're like i can't do that then you might want to dig into why are you overly stressed well then we need to let's reduce our stress first do that for a month and then okay now our stress levels are down and then now we can really dig into the sugar so sometimes it's not all about just like hearing a tip like this and then saying okay i just have to cut out sugar there is deeper layers there's deeper levels and there's deeper um reasons as to why we're not doing what we know we need to do to get ourselves to the next level to have a healthier body to have more energy to sleep better if you just can't do it you really might want to consider that you might have a sugar addiction and there's tons of videos on youtube maybe i'll do one one day but there's tons of videos on youtube on how to get rid of a sugar addiction and there's different methods but what i will say with me again is only eating when I'm hungry, not eating super late, and then having apple cider vinegar, all those things in combination help to reduce my sugar cravings. Also what I wanna say with not eating sugar, I ate fruit. I didn't have a ton of it, but I definitely did have raspberries, blueberries. I might have a banana here and there, maybe half an apple here and there, and that's fine, okay? People are so scared of fruit. Yes, if you eat anything in abundance, it's gonna to be too much for you, but fruit has so many vitamins and minerals in it, gives you natural energy and then there's fiber so your body is getting rid of it and your body you know once it's done it, it gets whatever it needs and then it gets rid of whatever it doesn't need okay so eating regular just processed sugar does nothing for you it might give you one little hit of blood sugar and unless you're going to go run a marathon or unless you're going to go get on the treadmill 
it, it just does nothing for you. You don't get any, any vitamins or nutrients and then there's no fiber in it. And then you're just sitting all day. Like if you're at work and you're snacking on Snickers, you, you literally are playing yourself. And that's just, I want to just give it to you straight. It's just what it is. I was determined to lose the 30 pounds. If you are determined as much as I was to lose the 30 pounds and never gain it back, that's what you have to do. Okay. So a couple of pieces of fruit here and there is fine to help curve your um, sugar craving, but you are going to have to cut out processed sugar period to lose the 30 pounds. Once you lose the 30 pounds, once you lose 25 pounds, then you can slowly start to um, figure out how to incorporate it in your life where again, it's not in overabundance. You're having it every once in a while and you are able to portion and be in control of your body. Right? So, if you're not able to do that, then you really have to take a look in the mirror like me. I I was there and I was like, okay, you know what? I, I am addicted to sugar, so I gotta get in front of it. So you might wanna consider that. This is a huge one just because of the portions in America. I live in California. I live in Los Angeles County. I There is just so much food everywhere and there is huge plates of it. So I, again, had to feel into my body and say, okay, am I really, am I full? Am I satisfied, right? And so I would just eat until I was satisfied, not full, okay? Satisfied, not full. Do yourself a favor. Do not stuff yourself anymore. If you are trying to lose 20 to 30 pounds, you are going to have to cut your portion sizes down. I'm not sure how much you've, um, you've eaten. I know for me, portion is a big thing. So again, if you're watching this in your different country and the portions are already smaller than Amer in America, then, you know, may disregard this one but if you're in america especially you're gonna have to really learn how to eat till satisfaction where you're like you know what like this is how i did it when i would eat to satisfaction i would say okay i've had like 10 bites like half of my plate is gone like if for some reason i had to rush and go somewhere like would i be okay like would i be like okay it's fine i can just eat this later if it was a yes then i just would not eat the rest of it right and if it was a no if I'm like, ooh, I kind of feel like I'm not really satisfied, I would have a couple more bites, right? And then what I did was I just learned to not, like once I kind of learned what, um, where my satisfaction level was, I would just only have that on my plate so I didn't have to fight with myself. Like, do I eat more? Do I, do I not eat more? It's like, don't even put yourself through that. Just have, you know, two thirds of, of the food that you used to or a half of the food that you used to on your plate so that way you don't have to make and wrestle with yourself with these decisions okay so that's what i did if you want to if you're serious about wanting to lose 25 to 30 pounds and keep it off this is what i did okay sauna steam room okay this is a life this is a lifestyle life time tip okay steam room there's so many benefits to a steam room and a sauna i highly suggest that you look up some kind of gym or some kind of spa or something somewhere where you can get access to a sauna or steam room at 24 hour fitness you could pay 30 bucks a month and get access to a, a, a steam room. And depending on, you know, I don't know if any of them are 24 hours anymore, but they're open really early and open really late. So you, I mean, there's not really an excuse, 30, $30 a month. If you're spending $30 at Starbucks every single month, more than that, then you owe yourself some way to get rid of the toxins in your body. So that's what I did. I would sit in the steam room at, and I, again, I was very determined then and there's so many life benefits, right? So it gets rid of plaque in your in your brain, which prevents you from getting things like Alzheimer's and dementia in the future. Also, you know, you don't have all this buildup in your body because you're you're literally sweating out so many toxins. So there there's so many just there's just actually a lot of conditions and diseases that you're preventing yourself from. It helps with anti-aging, it helps with it's really calming and like helps you relieve a lot of stress as well. The steam room in the sun is just fire, okay? I'm just there's so many amazing things to it. So definitely look it up, do yourself a favor, look it up. And it also gets rid of excess water weight. So yes, you are, the second you drink water, obviously your body's gonna hold on to that water, but you wanna be intentional, right? Like you don't wanna just like drink down a gallon, like right when you, you get out, just have like some coconut water to replenish your electrolytes that you got rid of while you're detoxing. And then you're fine, right? You still have energy. You're not feeling like, oh my gosh, like I just have no energy. There's ways to replenish that energy, vitamins and minerals, but it's super important to get rid of the toxins from the all the processed food and sugar. Anything, if you eat anything in a box, which we all do, I still do, okay? I'm slowly weaning myself off of that, but that's a whole nother video. If you eat anything in a box that's processed and we have a lot of processed chemicals, like I read the back of things and it says like sucralose, gum, 
all these like weird big words on the back, like that kind of stuff should not be going in our body. And it's just, I get it. It's what what's accessible. It tastes good. It's convenient. It's, you know, some of our favorite dishes are made with those processed boxed things. But if you want to lose 20, 30 pounds, you've got to check in. So I'm going hard with you. If you check my other videos out, I'm usually a lot more calm and, you know, just in the flow. But this video really is to get like kickstart you and jumpstart you into taking it serious if you really want to lose 25 to 30 pounds quickly and keep it off right and you see results the first day that you do you wake up and you do every single one of these things on the list by the time you wake up the next morning which is what i did i literally was four pounds lighter literally because i got rid of toxins out of my body i didn't eat super late i i didn't eat till i was super full i had my apple cider vinegar and my green juices and so the next day, it was like my body was relieved. It was like my organs had a break. So I literally woke up and like my stomach was a little flatter and I just looked, I didn't look as puffy in the morning. So like my face was thinner and I li actually looked different the very next day. So if you really are, do these, you really cut out the sugar, you really don't eat super late, you really don't stuff yourself, right when you wake up, don't stuff yourself with a bunch of pancakes, you will see an immediate difference the very next day. You won't lose 30 pounds and you're not going to want to lose 30 pounds in one day that's ridiculous but you will see an immediate difference the very next day stayed really hydrated so that's another way to keep yourself full keep yourself satiated feel like you like have to fight with yourself on like oh am i really full am i not well if you already have a glass of water 15 minutes before you are going to eat and then you go to eat and you're like you know what like just naturally like just from literally being fuller from the water you're not going to want to eat as much so that could be a good hack or a good trick also, just a sidebar with this, um, if you eat your protein first, you can actually look this up. A really good podcast on impact theory with Tom Bilyeu. In one of his podcasts, they talk about protein and like the order that you eat uh, in the way that you eat your food. So definitely check out that, that podcast. It's, it's super amazing. A lot of really amazing information. But eat your protein first on your plate right so even if you're a vegan vegetarian like if you have the beans on there or obviously if you eat meat eat the chicken first eat the steak first and then proceed to eat the rest of the plate and you'll find that you're actually a lot fuller too so if you do the water and eat your protein first and then eat everything else on your plate then you will more than likely not even care to finish the rest of your plate i did not have any bread or pasta i know it's hard to take in but it processes the sugar in your body. And I feel like most people should know this by now, but then I'm realizing that people don't because I'm a nerd with this kind of stuff. And I actually just learned this like a few years ago that um, pastas and breads like process like sugar. So it's like, if you have pasta, it just processes just like a donut. So no pasta, no bread for the duration of when you are trying to lose the 20 to 30 pounds, okay? You don't have to cut it out for the rest of your life. I think that's where people like sometimes will just be like really turned off by um, advice like this because it's like, why well, I, I can't live? Like, no, you're trying to get to a certain stage so then that way you can incorporate those things back in moderation, in control. And once you incorporate those things back, you even find that you don't even really want some of this stuff. So like I was obsessed with donuts, obsessed. I still kind of am, I just like, if I see something on Instagram, like an amazing do new donut shop that opened, I'm just like, oh my gosh, are you serious? But once I'm actually like at the mall or like walking past a donut shop, I don't even care to have it because I know my goals. I, don't, I just don't have like whatever that thing is, like the sweet tooth, like we will call it, like the craving, the blood sugar spike. I'm most of the time at a neutral level how i feel in my body now i want to actually wear a glucose monitor one day and really see because there's some crazy things that actually spike your blood sugar that you wouldn't even know about so again that's for a whole nother video but yes i would you cannot um you got to cut out the bread you got to cut out the pasta so that's what i did and then you know things like zucchini pasta finding really creative ways to still have things that are close kind of helped, you know, it held me over. So I would definitely suggest that it does not, again, it doesn't mean you have to replace zucchini noodles with pasta for the rest of your life. Absolutely not. But if you want to lose the 20 to 30 pounds, and right now is a perfect time to do that. Um, right before summer, you know, we have three months until summer, perfect, amazing uh, um, time to do it. Check in. I know you can do it. I know. Come on. I know you can 25 
to 30 pounds, you can get it off in 90 days. If you do every single one of the tips that I just told you, you will see immediate results in one day. You will wake up and just feel better. Your face will be thinner. Your stomach will be a little bit flatter. You won't be as inflamed, okay? So do it. Let me know in the comments. If you have any other tips, let me know. I actually have done several things. These are just like eight to nine tips that I'm telling you about. And the last um, really quick bonus is meditation. And I know that's like, what? Like how would 25 to 30 pounds be a, have any relation to meditation? It keeps you, your stress. We're gonna have stress. It is what it is. It's part of life. Like there's no way getting around it, right? Um, and what I've learned being in my 30s from my 20s is that I thought like, okay, once you have it all together, you just never really have stress. No, the stress keeps coming as you have as you go to new levels in your life. If, as you accomplish things, there's another level of stress. It's part of life. People pass away. People in your family, you know, may have a hardship that you want to be there for them. You may have a hardship. Like it just it's part of this game of life. So once you just learn how to deal with it and kind of like take it on, like face it, things like tools like meditation are really amazing for that, journaling as well. And so it also keeps your body out of a state of fight or flight. So your body's not holding on to a, a ton of um, fat because it feels like it's like in, in danger, okay? Like your cortisol levels aren't going crazy. You can reduce some of that by doing things like meditation, getting a lot of sleep and journaling. All right. So again, um, definitely make sure you subscribe. Definitely make sure um, you check out my links below. I have an amazing, amazing ebook, how to lose belly fat. And I created it because I literally was just giving the tips of what I, of, of what I do. There's like so many things that I do, but I'm just so embodied with it. And it's just like, they're my rituals. And, um, so I would tell people, I would like women from high school or college would say, Hey, you know, what do you do to like, you know, keep it together? What did you do to, do to lose weight? So I just gave them a list and then several women were doing it and they're like, this actually works. So I just like took the list that I was giving out to friends and family and old coworkers and things like that, put it into an ebook and I'm presenting it to you. So definitely get it while it's on sale right now, right before the summer. It's an amazing time to check in. Um, do not do yourself a disservice and go another year not being embodied with the person that you want to be, not being in a healthier body. It, it has nothing to do with wanting to be skinny because that's a, that's a whole other topic. I want you to be embodied with your best version of yourself. And when you look in the mirror and you're like, this extra 25 to 30 pounds that I've been carrying around is representative of me not getting um, enough sleep is representative of me not being super confident in myself. It's representative of me trying to hide. It's representative of me being super stressed out. It's representative of me being depressed. It's representative of me, you know, um, not being able to control my body. Like I don't have dominion over my body. Though, like if you, if that's you, okay, if you're carrying around an extra 25 to 30 pounds and I touched on one of those pain points, tap in with these tips that I gave you. I'm telling you, you will see, Do just wake up, like you're, if you're listening to this in the evening, wake up tomorrow morning or whenever you listen to this, the very next day, actually the second, that very next second, like the very next meal you have should um, feel into your body. Okay. Feel into your body. If you're not hungry, don't eat. If you're hungry, don't stuff yourself. Drink water. Like the very next second or that you hear this, you can implement all of these things. And then by the time you wake up the next day, you start, start the entire, all the points do every single one of them for the entire day. And then by the next day, you literally will see a difference. Like you'll wake up and be like, wow, I'm like looking like a little bit more refreshed. My stomach feels flatter. Like what's going on here? You will see an immediate, um, immediate results. Okay. Find a sauna. If you don't have a sauna, you can literally, this is a sidebar. If you don't have access to a sauna, um, you can maybe invest in a sauna. They have at-home saunas, which are really dope. They have the heated blankets that you can purchase. I'm sure they have amazing good deals out there on Amazon. Tap into that. You can literally make your own sauna. Like turn on your water is super, super hot, steaming hot. Let it kind of like be a sauna in your bathroom. And then you can go in there and, and um, stand in the shower, not even like going under it, just like standing in the shower, like away from it and just feel the steam on your body and just kind of like release some of those toxins. That's like a really quick way you could try to do it. But again, I know that there's, if you have access to a gym, most gyms 
have a sauna, all right? And I think even Planet Fitness, um, I've never been there before, but some friends and family that I know that do, there's a sauna in there, I believe. And I think it's like $10 a month. So even if you don't use a gym, you can use it for things like the sauna and the steam room, okay? Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you have anything to add. Um, I would love to share what you guys have done to lose 20 to 30 pounds. Again, if you're someone that's tapping in with me, you know, follow me on my other social media and comment down below, like just with what you're going through, right? Like if you're like, I can't do that, Sienna, like no, number three, you know, tip number four that you did, tip number three, I can't do it. Like, let me know why, tap in with me. Let me know, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, also check out my, the ebook, subscribe, like, like, like the video. I would love and appreciate it. I also have a Patreon um, link down below. I have been, I've had this channel for a while now and I just love talking about health, fitness and mindfulness. So if you're on the journey with me and if you wanna support the channel, it goes toward a ton of things like my editing, my equipment, um, my research that I do, the apps that I use for editing, um, and a ton more that goes into making these kinds of videos. So definitely, if you want to support me with that, definitely click the Patreon down below. I would love it and appreciate it. And that's really all that I have. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.